So today I'm going to be addressing an article that came out last week that I've been meaning to talk about, and it is regarding the creator of the Gundam franchise, Tomino Yoshiyuki, and the words, the harsh words he had to say about Attack on Titan and its creator, Hajime Isayama. Give you a little bit of a backstory about Tomino Yoshiyuki. From my understanding, a bit of a reputation he has is that he tends to come out and kind of slightly lash at other competition in his mecha genre and at other competition within his genre. And this is the first time he's actually lashed out at somebody from an even different genre. And these are the words that he had to say. I'm going to read it verbatim. Mind you, not all of it was bashing, but... Just hear it out. Attack on Titan is a work that straight out conveys the author's mood. On one hand, One Piece is a shonen manga that masterfully lets tens of thousands of people enjoy its content easily. One Piece is pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie about that. Attack on Titan is a very personal manga to the author and it is very difficult to read. I've seen the author's television news appearance once or twice and I finally understand what kind of person he is. He has said that because he was bullied in the past, now he uses his manga to let out those feelings of resentment. I do have to say, though, that I am glad that he collects pictures of people with unfavorable faces for reference to draw and tighten. In other words, the entire manga is not just the author's mood or feeling. Even though he says that he's bad at drawing, he makes sure to work hard to draw the things he hates the most and still serializes the manga. This is because he is working first to become an author, then a manga creator. So while there, it wasn't all that bad, to be honest with you, it was constructive criticism. At the end, he was trying to slide up by saying he's not really trying to be a manga, he's trying to become an author first. But for the most part, that was constructive criticism. I had pretty much no problem, it's, you know, Tomino's opinion. Nonetheless, it's not that bad of a thing what he said, it was constructive criticism. But... He went on to say this, and this is where I was like, wow. Tomino wrote, while he applauds Isayama for using his experiences as a victim of school bullying to inspire his work, he otherwise found Attack on Titan's art crude, grotesque, and comparable to pornography. Tomino stated that he doesn't even want to talk about the series, let alone read it. Insert problem. So, the constructive criticism is cool, but for you... The creator of Gundam, a franchise that has loads of death, loads of all sorts of shit in it. Gundam has some dark stuff in it. And mind you, I'm not bashing Gundam because I've seen some Gundam that I enjoy. I have many friends that are fans of Gundam. I respect Gundam for what it is, and I respect this man. Don't get me wrong. This isn't here me trying to discredit him. I respect what he's done and what he's created. However... For you to come and bash Isayama and basically say that his series is comparable, the, the carnage is comparable to pornography, and you don't want to read Attack on Titan, more or less talk about Attack on Titan. First of all, then why the fuck are you even talking about it to begin with? Why the fuck would you open your mouth about it if you're going to compare it to pornography when Gundam has some fucked up shit? People dying, people exploding, war in the pocket, motherfuckers dying left and right. But nah, since it's Isayama, and you know, this is again Tomino's reputation. Tomino has a reputation for attacking other things, and it's unfortunate because a man like that that you respect, at the same time he's doing shady things like this, attacking people for no reason. It's like, okay, you want to give constructive criticism, I respect that, all cool. But when you want to compare it, to, say it's grotesque, it's comparable to pornography, and just these things that you're saying that pretty much you don't want to read it, let alone talk about it, it's like... What the fuck is your problem? Why are you even talking about it to begin with then? To me, for a man of that stature to come out and say these disparaging things about an upcoming author, no less. Just because Hajime Isayama is exploding with popularity, he is still a new dude. This is his first series. His first serialized work. And for you to attack him, a fellow creator of anime, manga, whatever it may be. You're a fellow creator of story and stuff like that. And you're going to come out. And just straight up bash him, bash his series. Again, the constructive criticism that you gave in the beginning, where you feel as though certain aspects, okay, cool. But to say it's comparable to pornography, I don't even want to read it. So you don't want to read it, but you read it because you know enough to say that it's comparable to pornography. So wh wh what's the issue? To me, to be honest with you, it seems as though Tomino is another case of him trying to stay relevant, trying to bash things so he could be in the popularity. And it's like, come on, bro, really? Attack on Titan Hajime Isayama, he's a new manga. Instead of doing that, why don't you say, you know what? I'm proud of this young man. Maybe I disagree with his work, but I'm proud that he is becoming a successful manga and bringing more drive to this industry of anime manga that has been on a decline for years. Attack on Titan, along with Sailor Moon, but Attack on Titan is one of the big reasons why manga sales are up 6% this year, the first time in many years in the United States. So instead of doing stuff like that, trying to discredit him, trying to burn him, because... You know, people that are like Gundam fans, and they're like, you know what? 
He's the creator of Gundam. Maybe this is. You know, I'm not even going to give this a chance. If he's comparing this to pornography, if this legend himself is coming out and speaking against this, fuck that shit. I'm not even going to bother trying this series. And that's wrong. You don't do that when you're in a power, a position like that, to come out and basically say, yeah, this guy's work, I don't even want to touch it. That's wrong. You don't do that when you're at that position of like, you know, you're a legend. And I still respect the dude, but for you to come out and do that to a man that's coming up, trying to, you know, do his thing, that's just wrong, and I don't respect that at all. I respect the man, but I don't respect those actions he took in that interview. It's cool for constructive criticism. I'm all for that. I'm a reviewer. I give constructive criticism as well. But for you to do that, it, I, it doesn't fly with me, especially the, those ending remarks where it's grotesque, comparative to pornography. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to read it, even though you clearly went into this interview to talk about it and to down the man. That's bullshit. Let me know what you guys think. This kind of upset me. This went in from, I was just going to inform you guys, give my opinion to kind of a rant this video, but this is one of my favorite mangas. I enjoy it. Yes, the carnage is real, but that's to display the raw and full-on emotion. And if Hajime Isayama is using his experiences of being bullied to last back and feel like he's letting some of that past go, let the man do what he has to do. Don't put a man down when he's trying to come up just because you want to be back in the spotlight again. You ha No, that's fucking bullshit, and I don't respect that. What do you guys think? Do you think that Tomino was a little too out of character to do something like this? And again, I'm going to stress it for the final time. I'm all for constructive criticism. I'm a reviewer. I review things. I get my criticisms. But when you're a man like that, to come out and say some of those disparaging things to an up-and-coming mangaka, I think that that's foul play, and I don't, I don't respect that at all. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Isayama. Still do your thing. If you ever happen to see this and you understand English, dude, do your thing. We love your work. America, you know, numbers don't lie, people. The numbers don't lie. Keep doing your thing. Don't let Tomino put you down because it is what it is. I'm Finnup World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.